for the Quantum Grammar Shoot Podcast, the only podcast of its kind on the interwebs as far as I know. I'm your host, Cole and Jason Knife and Matthew Cohen Glass. You may call me Jason. Matter of fact, I prefer that you call me Jason. Although there are some Spanish-speaking individuals out there that insist upon calling me Matthew for whatever reason. So if you find it impossible to call me by my first name, Jason, and you insist on using Matthew... Well, I guess that's your own personal problem, and I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to hassle you about it. If you want to know what the podcast is all about, you can listen to past episodes. For this one, I'm just going to go right into it. I've been going back over some of the material that I have produced over the last few years, most notably the Coral Blade Grotto broadcasts, the reaction videos where I will look at most times what would appear to be a quantum grammar related channel and sort of do an audit on it. Now, the first thing I'm looking for, of course, is correct grammar. Now, my volition behind doing this, or for the reason for doing it, is to give the viewers that come to this channel a sense of where the traps are, the tricks, the traps, the landmines, those things that could get you into trouble. I try to show you the landmines and then I try to show you how to avoid them. I try to show you the mistakes, the holes, how to step over them, how to fix the mistakes, how to correct them. That's what I do for rule one, rule equal performances. Some folks could construe it as me, you know, being negative or throwing shade on on other people because there are so many people that are putting incorrect grammar out there. Now, (laughs) that's the issue, though is that there are so many, just about every single channel I've come across, if I, if I had 10 channels to audit that are, that claim to use quantum grammar, if I had 10 channels to audit that claim to use quantum grammar, I can bet you that nine out of those 10 channels are using incorrect grammar, if not 10 out of 10 channels are using incorrect grammar and do not have closure on the grammar. I'm not saying out of any sense, saying that out of any sense of thinking I'm better than them, It is what it is, and I can prove it. And I have proven it time and time and time again. So now, when I do these things, I look deeper. I try to look deeper into what's going on. For example, in this whole podcast, this edition has been sparked off by a barrage of comments I received from a YouTube channel with the username, YouTube channel name, Uh, correct quantum grammar and I do think it is spelled with no colon just correct hyphen quantum hyphen grammar I think that's that's the name of the channel they have left like almost a dozen long comments on my channel none of which I have published for reasons I will get into uh, in this podcast. They are using a form of quantum grammar that, of course, is to the best and extent of their knowledge, which they do have knowledge of it. They just don't have closure on it. There are huge holes in their correct sentence structure, communication, parsley, syntax, grammar, knowledge. And I'm going to be showing that Uh, A video coming up. Actually, it's probably already been published. If you're listening to this, it's already been published. You can check it out. Now, at first, I thought that this individual fit into the category of troll when I was looking at their grammar. But then as I was looking at their conveyances, using the balance of the honor and the grace, I saw that maybe that just wasn't the case that maybe something else was going on. And I'm still not quite sure why they decided to invest so much energy 
and now space in writing out all these comments in their best, you know, rendition of quantum grammar, which I will call quantum gobbledygook, which is the grammar that I call that, you know, that Russell J. Gould uses and his students and his cult followers, they use what I call quantum gobbledygook. It looks like quantum grammar, but it is not because there are mistakes all over it. However, I will say to correct quantum grammar's credit, their knowledge level, at least of the correct sentence structure communication aspect of quantum grammar, their knowledge level surpasses Russell J. Gould's and the Syntax Learning Center and all those people. Their knowledge of how to create a correct sentence structure is above and beyond Russell J. Gould's. But it's still not quite there yet. As I'm looking at all the particles of negation in their facts, I'm looking at incorrect positional sequencing, but it's not consistent incorrect positional sequencing. It's like 50-50. So I would say that this individual is still learning. As far as correct sentence structure goes, they're 50 to 60% there, maybe 75% there if I'm to be generous, but I have no idea of their syntax knowledge. Their parse knowledge definitely has holes in it because they are using particles of negation and, and modifiers in their facts. They're using past tense in their facts. They're using gerund modifiers in their facts. They're using vowel in front of a consonant at the beginning of a word in their facts. So there are some huge goal holes and gaps in there. So now that I've gotten that out of the way, and you, again, you can look at that video that I mentioned for a full rundown on that. I'm not trying to, to you know, discourage anybody out there from using correct sentence structure communication parsi syntax grammar. What I'm trying to do is encourage people to cultivate humility and to learn the grammar fully. Get 100% closure on it before you start putting out videos claiming that you're some sort of expert on it. Ladies and gentlemen, friends and neighbors, have you ever, ever heard me say that I'm an expert on quantum grammar. No, you have not. You probably have heard me say that I have mastered correct sentence structure communication parse syntax grammar, that I'm 100% confident with using it, that I have 100% closure on it. I can back those things up and the almost 900 videos on my YouTube channel are one, just one single certification of that, not to mention the hundreds of students that I've taught since February of 2018, which if called upon, you know, a lot of those students would be able to certify my knowledge level or give you their thoughts on me. So I do have certifications. I do have a position. I can prove I am who I say I am. And that's the other thing I want to bring up about this correct quantum grammar individual. They do not credential themselves. Even when I did actually find their channel, which was very hard to find, by the way, I went to their about section and they, they use the word claimant's knowledge and claimant, but they never ever credential who they are. So that to me is a huge red flag because if you don't have the guts to put your name and take authority over your words, which over, I mean, over your grammar, which is the most important thing of what we're talking about here, then how am I supposed to honor what you're saying? How am I supposed to honor your position or even take you seriously if you're not willing to step up onto the carpet, and put your money where your mouth is, put your name out there, say, yeah, I said this. I take full accountability for what I said here. If if you're not willing to do that, then uh, I can't take you... I'm not going to take you seriously. I'm just not. I know that the internet generation is... They're used to hiding behind nom de guerres and usernames. And, you know, I've gone, you know, jokingly back and forth with 
a lot of seemingly cool people on my YouTube channel who just will not credential themselves. They just want to use nom de guerres and fake names. Why? Why do people do that? Because they don't want to take accountability for what they're saying. They don't want to be known. They don't want to say, this is who I am and this is what I'm saying. And I take full responsibility for it. They don't want to do that. Because I guess, you know, it's easier not to do that. With correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, it's a completely different domain. It's a prerequisite, and I'm using fiction terms here. It's a prerequisite to credential yourself. Because if you're not taking yourself seriously and you're not confident enough in your knowledge to put your name under your words, meaning authorization comes at the end, then how can you expect anyone else to take you seriously? So that to me is a red flag. So my point here in this podcast, as I've said before, and I'm only repeating myself, to take up a little space so that I can think of the next thing that I want to say Um, I'm not trying to throw shade on on people like correct quantum grammar. I'm really not. My volition is to throw light on them. To get them to do the correct thing. Correct volition. To cultivate humility. Realize, oh my goodness, I don't have closure on this grammar. What am I doing trying to tell people that I know what I'm doing? Unless, of course, they're trying to fool people into thinking that they know what they're doing and make money off of it in some way. Or maybe it's some ego trip thing where they just want people to think they're smart. Like this individual, when they were publishing their comments, it was very hard for me to cognize what they were saying because, number one, they did not translate it into plain, simple English for the balance of the honor and the grace. And number two, they don't have closure on the grammar. It was very repetitive. Um, And like I said, you know, 50% of the time, the positional sequencing was incorrect. More specifically, there was no authority to their sentence. So that's what I would recommend for these people. You know, uh, cultivate some humility. If you want to learn correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar. You're listening to a tutor right now that has been tutoring since February of 2018. Hundreds of people. Check out my credentials. What are my credentials? Almost 900 correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar videos created by me on this channel with my correct name and my correct visual credentialing on every video. You know what I look like. You know who I am. I am not afraid. I am not scared to step up onto the geometric level playing field of contract communication and back up my position in my words. Can you say the same about yourself? How do you expect me to take you serious if you're not going to credential yourself and you're not going to stand behind your words? And you approach me in such a manner. If it Ladies and gentlemen, friends and neighbors, hopefully the people that need to hear this will hear this. If you think that I'm doing something wrong or incorrect, or if you think you know something that you want to share with me for some reason that you think I should know, the comments field on a YouTube video is not the place for that particular scenario. The correct place would be jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com. So that way, right away, we can get to a geometric... We we have the capacity to get to a geometric level playing field of contract, which would be a video communication, a video consult. Or you can see me, I can see you. It's in the confidential. We use our correct names and we can talk about whatever we want to talk about. And if we're going to use um, this correct quantum grammar channel as an, an example, 
this person keeps going off about the tilde. I don't know what their obsession with the tilde is. I really don't. I've given, you know, done multiple videos giving closure on the tilde, what it is, how it denotes uh, location, so on and so forth. I've given my correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, finite mean of the tilde. I have a feeling this individual doesn't know that, <laughs> that they're just new and they haven't bother, bothered to do their research or do their homework on me. They just feel, I guess, I don't know, entitled to say whatever they want without reading the terms and conditions of my vessel construct, which I can forgive them for once. But after the, the video comes out, which, as I said, by this time is probably already out, now we'll see how what their kuleana is to that video. But if they really wanted to have a serious conversation with me, if they really felt they had some sort of position or they had something to offer or some reason to contact me, then the correct place to do it would be jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com so we can get right away to a video communication face-to-face, man-to-man or whatever, you know, man-to-woman, whatever it is, eye-to-eye and talk about it. It's that simple. Hiding behind nom de guerres and usernames in a YouTube's comments field does not create closure. It just creates mitigation. And I know this from being a content creator on YouTube for six years. I don't know how many years this correct quantum grammar individual has under their belt. But I went to their channel and as far as I can see, they have two videos of which I, I've watched none of them so far. I do plan on watching them, actually, by the way, because I am curious about who this individual is. They certainly don't use their correct name. But this is what I'm saying. I mean, if you participate with those principles of the balance of the honor and the grace, the position of peace and neutrality, and the maintenance of rule one, rule equal, then you will honor these terms and conditions, these principles, and if you have something to say, you will contact me through the correct venue. Otherwise, why are you here? You see what I'm saying? One thing you do not see me do, I do not go through other people's YouTube channels, comments fields, and drop comments on there telling them, you're wrong, you're not correct, this is wrong, that's wrong, you should do it this way, this is the correct way to do it, you're disqualified, I never do that, why? Because it's none of my freaking business, I don't need to build myself up by going uh, into other people's turf or territories and try and tear them down, what I do is I create video content showing errors and mistakes and showing how to correct them. Rule one, rule equal. There is a difference. There's a difference between constantly criticizing someone saying, you're incorrect, you're disqualified, you're, you don't have authorization, and then giving no reason for it, giving no solutions, only presenting a problem. That's the sound of one hand clapping. That's fear mongering. That's fiction tactics. I don't participate with that. I participate with solutions. Rule one, rule equal. You present a problem, you got to have a solution. Otherwise, what are you talking about? Does a tree make a sound when it falls in the woods and no one's there to hear it? It's like the same thing. The sound of one hand clapping. So there you go. I hope that wasn't too long-winded. Point being, I'm not out here to tear people down. Now, if someone is slandering me, if someone is bad-mouthing me, ad, using ad hominem attacks, well then, I will take a different route then. Then the gloves will come off, and then I will go full hardcore on them. But that doesn't happen very often. Um, as yet... You could say, I have not had anyone 
willing to step up onto the geometric level playing field with me and go grammar for grammar. Just the name of that YouTube channel is, it cracks me up. Correct Quantum Grammar. Like quantum grammar is a synonym in the fiction for correct sentence structure communication parsing syntax grammar. Correct sentence structure communication parsing syntax grammar is the correct name of the technology. Quantum grammar is just a synonym. It's just something it's easier to say. But in the world of fact, one word, one meaning, that is not used in the same context as correct sentence structure communication parsing syntax grammar because it is one word in one meaning. So if you have, you can have a quantum grammar, I guess, that is not correct. <laughs> Which is true because if you just look at quantum grammar, if you parse the word quantum, it just means a finite amount of something. So it's a finite amount of grammar. It could be a finite amount of incorrect grammar. So that goes hand in hand with that correct quantum grammar channel because their grammar is not correct. So I do hope, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll leave this to be continued. I do hope that they see the video that, that's out there that's critiquing their grammar. I hope that they respond in a respectful, uh, humble manner. Because how they respond back will determine my next move. Because they are the ones that chose to come aboard my vessel. I did not twist their arm to comment all those comments in my YouTube comments field. But they felt some, you know, they felt compelled to do that. So, hopefully we will find out why. And hopefully, they will have the guts to share their correct name and step up onto the carpet and take authority and jurisdiction and accountability for their words and what they say. And if they do all that, then my hat's off to them and if they don't well then they're just like the majority of the rest of the individuals that come onto my channel in such a manner using their quantum gobbledygook it seems like it's just some sort of an ego trip and they're just sort of uh, trying to emulate or imitate their hero which I'm gonna I'm not gonna mention them anymore but you know what I'm saying, folks that are regular viewers of this channel, the protagonist center morality and all that, we've been through all that. Thank you very much for listening, and I'll catch you in the next one.